Welcome to ArcPoint, my name is Marcus, and today we're kind of going to be importing game screenshots as pictures into core games, kind of. I'll put some examples here of um, other games having game screenshots being used inside the game, so it makes a bit more sense. Okay, that's over. We're going to get straight into it now. So you can put in game screenshots in two ways. Uh, one is on the UI, or the user interface, and the second way is in the 3D space uh, using game portals. First, we're going to start with the UI. We're going to type in UI image. We're going to drag and drop that into the hierarchy. And then while this uh, orange border is active, uh, we can click on UI images and, yeah, shuffle it around. So we're going to make this bigger. And now we're going to go to Properties, and we're going to scroll or down or up until you find Game Screenshot and Game ID. Now this is actually very similar, actually it's the exact same way, uh, you teleport to a different game. You need that ID. So we're going to go ahead back to coregames.com, and we're going to get the scene from the last video, and we're going to copy and paste the link the last two parts of the link. But first I'll just note that the first screenshot is a stapler with transparency, and then the other three screenshots is just of a city. So back to the core editor, we're going to paste in that link, and voila! We now have a game screenshot inside of Core, on the UI. But one thing to note is that this is meant to be transparent, but it's just got a black background. Uh, that's because this does not support transparency. So with the screenshot index, you can change the screenshot that is displayed. So we've got the city, the city, number four, we have the city. But for number five, since that doesn't exist, it's just going to go straight back to uh, the first screenshot. So yeah, that is how you import it for the UI. Pretty simple. Now for core content, we're going to go game portal, and we're going to import it into the 3D space. So last time we used the right one because it had the functionality, but this time we want the left game portal, the VFX. Okay, so now we're going to scroll down until we find game... Okay, maybe I missed that. Game ID, there we go. Uh, underneath the general, game ID. So we're going to paste it. We're going to turn off world capture. And then you can start to see there's our stapler. And now we essentially have to remove everything else. So emissive boost zero. We're going to get portal shape to number two. So it's a square. We're going to remove edge distance to zero. Literally all of this can be zero. And we're going to remove this radial mask. So hang on, I'll just uh, swap it to a different shot. So you can see that there is a black vinaigrette, I think it's called. I'll have to check that. But we're going to go to the image mask, and we're going to turn that off, and we're going to set the mask hardness to 1. Now, if you look closely, there's a bit of distortion still. Uh, that should be up here, view distortion amount, and we're going to set that also to 0. Now we have our image in the game. Oh, hang on. So, one thing is that if it's inside of an object, it's going to have this little portal stuff occurring on the edge. We can turn that off by just making everything black. Yeah, I was going to try alpha zero. I was like, maybe that'll work. Not quite. So we're just going to paste that in, paste that in, and yeah. We can copy and paste this, and then change the screenshot index in fact, we can, we can literally take it from anything. 
going to go back to on survival. Yeah. Copy and paste. And yeah. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you like staplers, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more staplers. And I shall see you in the next video. Arc point out.